Oh, who do we have here? Um, my name is David Pena. How old are you, David? Eight. Well, but... welcome to the program. Okay, but I'm always wondering. I'm Barney. What? No, I'm kidding. Kidding. I'm always wondering on how you got your interest into UFOs and aliens. I wonder. Well, let me tell you, David. Great question. If I told you I was an alien, would you be scared? No. Hey, why don't you come up here with me? Come here. Bring the mic. Come on up here. I gotta get a little chair. Can I take this chair? Yeah. Hop up here, David. I'll hold you so you don't fall. Okay. Eight years old. Okay. Yes. How did I get interested? You're a good-looking kid. Thanks. Were you born here? No, I was born in Laredo. Laredo? Yeah. Texas? Mm -hmm. I guess that's where it is, isn't it? <laughs> do you know where Detroit is? No. Nope. That's where I was born. Oh. How old do you think I am? Mm -hmm. Don't be wrong. <laughs> uh, probably like between 30 and 40. Oh. <laughs> Great little guy. Give me five, David. You're close. Now, to answer your question, my mother brought me home a book when I was about your size called We Are Not Alone about life out there in the universe, extraterrestrial life. And after I read that book, I was hooked. That's all I wanted to do was study UFOs and other planets because I believe we're not alone. What do you think? Well, me too. I mean, like, I've been watching reports about UFOs too. They're out there, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Do you think they're good or bad? Well, I think that they're just creatures that are wondering. Like, well, they're wondering what we are. Like, they don't know what we are at all. Uh, you should do a segment on Coast to Coast Weekly, right? Huh? We'll call it the David Hour. Okay. If you were faced with an extraterrestrial, one of those greys with a big head and the big eyes, eyes not quite as big as yours, but close, <laughs> what would you say to them? What would you ask them? One question. One question to ask an alien, what would that be? Hmm. How is it life in space? How is life in space? Yeah. That's pretty good. And if you had a chance to say one thing to all these people out here, what would you tell them? Go ahead, turn around and mm -hmm. talk to them. Well, I think that aliens are not what we think they are, because we feel them. But I think they feel us more. And we do to them. How about that, David? Thanks, David. Thank you, jump here. Now that's the future of America. That's why we do what we do to protect this place for people and children like that. Thank you, David.